to create any kind of brush in nomad you just need two things some kind of alpha and brush setting adjustments for these useful stitch brushes which i used in this shoe we will need two alphas and they are very easy to create first we are going to add a plane go to the top view increase the division value and then subdivide for more resolution then select the tube tool choose path and draw a straight line this is going to be the thread now in side view we are going to create this arch shape lower the resolution a little bit and adjust the shape a little more like this make it a bit thicker and then subdivide to make it smooth now select the plane add a new layer and grab the crease brush and start sculpting around both ends of the thread These represents the hole through which the thread is going to pass. Then go up here, select debug and enable height map. Increase the focus a little bit. Then enable post process and tone mapping and adjust the exposure and contrast values until it looks like this. Then go to save, scroll down, set the final size to square and enable preview mode. Pin the menu and zoom in until the edges go a little outside the frame. Go out of preview and export as png and save now for the double stitch delete the layer clone the thread and reposition them like this and like before add a new layer and sculpt the holes like this then save as png now to create the actual brush select the brush clone it and rename it to stitch one and save Then go to settings, alpha and import the single stitch alpha. Go back to stroke, increase the lazy rope value for steadier strokes. And then increase the stroke spacing for this gap between the stitches. Now there are two issues. The size is inconsistent and this bulging effect of the alpha. To fix the first issue, go to the pressure and disable use global setting this is very important otherwise all pressure will be disabled for all the brushes then disable pressure radius and pressure intensity now for the second issue go to the alpha and down here at the bottom increase the value It's working. We're going to increase the value a bit more. And it looks perfect now. Now save the brush. Clone it and rename it to Stitch 2. Save it. 
and now all you have to do is replace this alpha this single stitch alpha with the double stitch alpha These look perfect. Now let's actually learn how to use these brushes effectively. First, let's switch to PBR. Add a different material, something with darker color and paint all. It's too dim, so increase the exposure. Add a light and increase the intensity. Now let's add a new layer and pretend that this is a fabric or a leather surface. Then go here and enable stroke painting. Now I'm gonna choose a brighter color. This is going to be the color of the thread. And this is how you sculpt and color the stitches at the same time. Pretty cool. Adjust the mid value to get rid of the color spill. Now it looks perfect. Now let's try it with the stitch 2 brush. Nice. Okay, now let me quickly show you another cool trick. Go to any image editing program, create a square canvas, import the single stitch alpha. Then rectangle select the stitch alpha. Like this. Then duplicate and rotate it and make it perpendicular. Grab the eraser and erase these parts like this. And then export as PNG. Now back in Nomad, clone the stitch brush. Name it stitch 3. Save it. And simply import the new alpha we just made. Set the rotation to 45 degree and stroke spacing to around 70. Enable stroke painting and just like that we have created another stitch brush. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe for more tutorials like this and I will see you in the next video.